okay um hi guys it is currently 4 58 a.m and i am already getting ready to go in fact i'm ready i just wanted to turn on the camera and give you guys the updates because your girl is ready don't mind my hair okay we are gonna look okay at the end of the day i'm gonna put on the earring i know i know i'm gonna do that okay so yeah i am ready and i will just um take my bag out now and leave for the airport so i'll see you guys when i get to the airport or maybe in the taxi catch you later so i really don't know if this affinity i have for my house is normal but i feel like crying that i'm leaving my house yeah i don't know i don't know is it normal tell me I've arrived at the airport and this airport is beautiful to be honest like when I came here the last time it wasn't this nice it wasn't this beautiful it was still on renovation and this side wasn't open so now that I'm here I am wow okay so let me show you guys what it looks like so you can be so they can trace you basically <music> done with my check-in in process i am currently um, going to my boarding gate and uh, that's what's going on right now i look a bit tired because i am indeed tired i've been through a lot okay <sighs> there was one attendant i be i don't know who the woman is but she tried it like she tried it with me and honestly i am not one to I'm not one to um, argue or something but she tried it okay she gave it to me in a way that I wanted to answer her and I told her I was like you don't do this because I'm black it doesn't make you think you can talk to me like I do not know um, what I'm saying or something because I was trying to tell her that an information that I got um, was wrong because of the information on their website and she kept telling me oh it was my Wi-Fi or something you guys i don't even want to gist you guys the thing because honestly i basically almost cried when i was talking to her because i was i did not want to pour out my mind but i did that so yeah i'm just gonna wait for my flight and maybe read a book or eat or sleep i think i want to sleep because i didn't get any sleep at night because i didn't want to miss my flight i didn't want to have any reason to come late you see one of the things i always say come early I have been at that counter for about 30 minutes imagine i came late and then you subtract 30 minutes and every other confusion that may happen so i thought i was even going to have excess luggage but turns out i even had two kilos to spare hola so yeah i am quite tired i just want to rest and i'll see you guys when we're about to fly about 30 minutes and it is time so let's go I'm finally going to sleep, that's so cool. Oh, 
so cold and that's all I want to do right now is to sleep. I haven't slept all through the night because I didn't want to miss my bed like I said. So yeah. Hi. Hey, baby. Catch you later. later since I arrived in Manila and I couldn't give you guys an update because I had issues with my camera so I just kind of fixed it it wasn't a big issue but you know when you read online and you find out that okay the problem you thought was huge is not huge so it was just that my camera my um, memory card had issues so I just kind of formatted it obviously I saved the previous vlog before you can see it so yeah, um, that's what's going on. I have eaten. I bought food at Jollibee, the airport Jollibee, yeah. And I have eaten. I am here trying to prepare for my exam because I have an exam coming up soon. So yeah, uh, catch you guys later. I just want to study a bit before my exam and just kind of connect my laptop to the um, airport Wi-Fi so that I know what's going on and how I'm actually going to write my exam, so yeah, see you guys later. Thank you, bye. Uh, hi guys, another update. So I just finished my exam. The time is about uh, time is about five thirty thereabouts. I just finished my exam and I'm heading to my boarding gate. Not boarding gate, I'm heading to check in. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. I changed my lens, so I'm quite getting used to this one. So yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm tired. So I did this um, chair massage thing, but I still feel tired. I feel like the thing even gave me with pain. Honest. So all I want to do now is to just um, check in and go and rest. Hey guys. So I have done my due diligence in. Um, Cebu Pacific. So what happened was they told me that I, need, I needed to pay tax. Oh my god, I love this back. They told me I needed to pay tax because I stayed in the country for over a year. And I'm like, I have a student visa, okay? It's not like I'm working. And so when I got here, I didn't say anything. That the, I didn't tell them the reason why I have to get another boarding pass here. So they basically just took my passport and gave me my boarding pass. I didn't pay any 1700 that they wanted to milk from me Cebu, this morning 
so you guys need to be sharp <laughs> anyways i'm not even saying this i'm not even saying this honestly but really really though i think cebu pacific in cebu no those people i don't know they need a lot of work to be done in them the rude one the one that doesn't know the procedures and everyone the, their websites the, they don't even know what's on their website i mean honestly it's annoying it was annoying so yeah i'll see you guys later i don't understand this n95 mask it keeps coming off so i'll just see you guys later i have to go to immigration now